and in New York City, you need all the attention you can get. As it stands now, New Yorkers and those visiting can use cell phones only when used with a hands-free headset. Rick Grant of Portsmouth says the law isn't a bad idea for Virginians, but questions the issues of enforcement. Do you want your police spending time giving tickets for people on the phone or taking care of more severe things. Virginia lawmakers are asking the same question. During the 2001 General Assembly, several bills were introduced that would mandate similar restrictions for drivers throughout the Commonwealth. But the measures died in committee. The cellular industry is quick to defend its product, insisting cell phones aren't the leading cause of vehicle crashes. And some industry authorities add drivers would be better off doing what Dorothy Lewis of Virginia Beach does. I don't even answer it anymore. It's not worth it, especially on the traffic here. Going home rush hour, it's not worth it. Now, a lot of folks we talked to today do believe cell phones are the leading cause of crashes or near misses on the road. So we did some homework to find out how much of a distraction cell phones really are. Tonight at 11, Ed, we're going to show you how much of a distraction eating and applying makeup and fixing up your hair and those little kids in the back seat really are. Show you where cell phones fare among those. Oh, there's a lot of things. A I even saw a guy brushing his teeth oh, one time coming to work. That's a true good. story. Not good. Thank you. If you have a consumer story idea or something you'd like us to investigate, call our Consumer Alert hotline. The number is 446-1352. Again, the number 446-1352. Well, this here is the man with the plan. Alan Greenspan showed up this morning to kick off a two-day policy-setting meeting. The Fed is still seen as worried about the economic outlook. That has most Fed watchers believing the central bank will cut interest rates for a sixth time this year. But the size of the cut is open for debate. Fed is expected to announce its decision sometime tomorrow. And tonight, several areas of southwest Virginia that are low on water are getting nearly $9 million in state money to correct problems. Governor Jim Gilmore has just announced $8.4 million from the Drinking Water State Revolving Fund will go to communities where many residents have to haul clean water into their homes. Now, some of the towns and cities included in all of this are Isle of Wight, Franklin, and Suffolk, they will be getting the grants along with other cities. Some Virginia farm owners made a trip to Charlotte today to protest the proposed merger of the First Union and Wachovia Banks. John Boyd, a Virginia farmer and president of the National Black Farmers Association, led that protest. He believes the merger will take banks further out of the black community since the potential partners haven't said how they will lend money to black businesses. The protesters also think the merger may mean fewer banks in the rural areas and decreased service for black farm owners. Well, tonight there is a new weapon in the war on missing and exploited children, and it happens to be wireless. Find out how this gadget could help catch up to your children before it's too late. And speaking of weapons, find out how local officials are fighting back in the war on mosquitoes. And also ahead, a mainstay on the highway is about to retire. Find out what Honda has in the works to replace the Prelude. That's all coming up. This segment of News Channel 3 is brought to you by your friendly local Dodge dealers. Dodge Ram has inspired considerable change in pickups. Owns are low APR financing on Dodge Ram. Thursday, July 5th, the real fireworks begin. When TV's most controversial series returns to CBS, Big Brother 2. All new housemates, all new rules, and a whole new season of the sensational summer show. For three months, 12 strangers will live together under one roof. But once a week, they'll vote to kick one of their own out. Don't miss an all new Big Brother 2, premiering CBS Thursday, July 5th. Rentals. You got it! Order a large Twisted Crust pizza and you get a coupon for a free movie rental at Blockbuster. Pizza, breadsticks, new releases at Blockbuster. What could be better? How about a date with Carmen Electra? Who, you? <laughs> hey, who's your friend? Me? What? The Twisted Crust pizza and a free movie, only at Pizza Hut. Payments. Visit your neighborhood Ford store today. And now, News Channel 3 Sports with Pat Paris. The first place Norfolk Tides are enjoying one of the best seasons in years. Not so for the parent club, though. The defending National League champion Mets trying to snap a five-game losing streak this afternoon. Face home. As we first told you last night, Ray Bork is retiring. The NHL's highest-scoring defenseman making the announcement today in Denver. The 40-year-old hanging up his skates after finally winning the Stanley Cup earlier this month with the Colorado Avalanche. There's so many fond, fond memories that I have, but... Uh... Obviously, this is one thing that I was chasing 
um, for so long and, and hoped that I was going to be able to hoist. And like I said, this is going to top the list. And he is one of the great ones. And the, that's Hampton University Center Tarvis Williams. We'll take a look at his chances coming up new at six. And did the first round of the NCAA tournament when Hampton beat Iowa State did not hurt his chances at being drafted in the NBA. A lot of good talent around these yes, parts when it comes to basketball and football yeah. and baseball. All right, thank you, Pat. Police are trying a new method now to keep your children safe. Coming up, we're going to show you the latest technology being used to get important information out about your kids to make sure they get back home safe. And Norfolk now has a Canadian connection to sales that could change the way you travel when we come back. Hey. Good evening, I'm Tom Randles with a look at what we're working to bring you new tonight at 6. I'm Bob Matthews in Norfolk. The city is getting tough on landlords who don't keep up their property. You won't believe what we found in back of this store. I'll have the story coming up tonight, new at 6. I'm Nate Custer, coming up new at 6, looking for some pests. That story's coming up new at 6. Chesapeake's native son, Randy Forbes, takes his place in Congress. I'm Lisa Godley in Washington, and I'll have a wrap-up of the day's events, new at 6. Plus, we're going to update you on a gas pipe break that forced nearly a dozen families from their homes. It's all coming up new tonight at 6. It's coverage you can count on. Tom, I'll see you then. Thank you, sir. Well, tonight there is a new weapon in the war on missing and exploited children, and it's wireless. Right now, police are testing a wireless device to help find missing children. The device saves time by giving law enforcement crucial information and pictures in the field. Reporter Susan Kelleher has the story from New York. It's every parent's worst nightmare, a missing child. And many parents fear the worst when their kids wander out of sight, even for a few minutes. If you can't see them right away, it's definitely scary. I've had a couple of, you know, heart attacks where I've been unable to find my son looking around the park, looking in the sandbox. According to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, some 2,100 kids are reported missing every day. For law enforcement, the earlier the search begins, the better. Now, Choice Point technology, applied to Motorola's Timeport P935, provides lawmen with vital statistics and pictures of the missing children in the field in the crucial early stages of the search. With the time port two-way text messaging devices, law enforcement officials have the advantage of having a device that has encryption so that the information that's being sent to the device is secure, as well as a large screen so that they can easily look at a graphic of the child. In addition to a graphic of the missing child downloaded by officers in the field, faxes are dispatched directly to detectives at the station. So far, 11 children have been found, including a newborn snatched from a hospital nursery. As technology improves with larger screens and color graphics, I can see this technology being used for a wide range of law enforcement applications. A number of police departments nationwide are testing this technology. Experts say wireless technology with its ability to deliver text and graphics may be the next best weapon in the war on all kinds of crime. Reporting from New York, I'm Susan Kelleher. And for the latest on this wireless email trend, you can log on to our links page at WTKR.com. Well, we all know now that the week started out okay, but it's going to get warm, it's going to get humid, and I guess people with allergies, they're really going to start to... Uh, feel all those symptoms as the week gets a little bit later. That's right. It hasn't been too bad over the past couple of days, but I think by Thursday and Friday, those who really suffer from grass allergies uh, will feel those symptoms a lot more than they have recently. And now the humidity is expected. It could go as high as what, 100? Uh, I think the heat index will probably get up to like 95 to 98. We're talking mainly Thursday and Friday. Outside right now, what a great day. Uh, Sunday, so we're splitting splitting it up. Uh, last weekend, we had most of the rain on Saturday. Right. Uh, this weekend, most of it will be on Sunday. What was that word you used over there a minute ago? Soaker? Soaker. Yes. Soaker. That means you need to get out the deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would you step aside, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, your link to the World Wide Web may be getting a little bit pricier. Find out when this hike will go into effect. Plus, it's rained a lot this month. Boy, has it, which means Hampton Roads is likely to soon be fighting a bad mosquito problem. So how are officials fighting back against the bugs? We'll have the answer when we come back. Coverage you can count on. You're watching News Channel 3. 
store in the Virginia Beach store closes forever in 14 days. This is it. The end of 95 years in business in Virginia Beach and perhaps the biggest money-saving event this part of Virginia has ever seen. And listen to this. With time so critically short to liquidate and vacate, Myers and Tobacco and Management now says, name your own price on anything you want. No reasonable offer refused on anything left. Selection is now changing every day and almost every hour. Myers and Tobacco is going out of business in Virginia Beach. The time to act is now. And now with the Dirt For You shirts and scoats, here's Wallet Winchell. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. America and all the ships at sea. Jets in the air, troops on the ground. This just in. USA Discount is your incredible credit store. Offers military and government employees top quality furniture, computers, rims, tires, home and car stereos, diamonds and gold jewelry too. At USA Discounters, it's instant credit, no money down, no pay for 60 days, and low monthly payments regardless of your credit history. Visit USA Discounters and say hello to these good buys. I'm Wallet Winchell. A new project took flight today. Air Canada's first flight left Norfolk today. Air Canada beginning daily flights to and from Toronto. It'll be Norfolk's first direct flight to Canada. Air Canada officials say they came to this area because the Virginia Beach oceanfront has long been a popular destination for Canadian tourists. Earthlink, the number two U.S. Internet service provider, is announcing that it will raise the monthly price of its basic unlimited dial-up service by $2 to $21.95 per month. Now, this comes a month after Rival America Online raised its rates. Earthlink's new rate will go into effect on July 2nd for new subscribers, and then again on August 1st for most of the Atlanta-based company's 3.1 million existing customers. Honda has announced plans to kill its high-performance Prelude Sports Coupe next year after 23 years as the sportiest Honda. The Prelude was outsold last month by the Honda Insight. That is a two-seat gas-electric hybrid. Honda plans to begin selling gasoline electric hybrid power Civic sedans in the USA. That'll be next March, hoping to triple U.S. sales of fuel-efficient hybrid cars. Tonight, 26 states, including North Carolina, Maryland, West Virginia, may already be winners in a battle with a magazine sweepstakes company. Publishers Clearinghouse has agreed to pay a total of $34 million to settle charges that the company used deceptive marketing practices. Now, as part of the settlement, the company will stop using phrases like guaranteed winner on its mailings. It's not clear how much of the money will go to each of the states for customer refunds and legal expenses. There was new information tonight on a fatal plane crash in the Outer Banks. We'll fill you in at 6. And these guys are on a mission to protect you from some vicious pests. We'll show you what they're doing to keep mosquitoes under control. How safe is your family, your neighborhood? What are the police doing? And the courts? On the CBS Evening News, Eye on America reports on crime in a way that brings it home to you. And in Hampton Roads, News Channel 3 does the same. Our exclusive partnership with Crimeline allows us to get criminals off the streets and make Hampton Roads a safer place for you to live. One more example of coverage you can count on. The CBS Evening News and News Channel 3. It's all local and it's all here. When you need the facts, ask the expert, exclusively on WTKR.com. Do you have a window, roofing, or siding question? I'm John Campbell with Quality Advantage Home Products, and I'll answer them on Ask the Expert on WTKR.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Jenkins. Find out how I can help you brighten your smile on Ask the Expert on WTKR.com. Log on today. Ask the Expert at WTKR.com. Hi, I'm News Channel 3's Beverly Kidd. What do you get out of reading a book? Relaxation? A break from the frustrations of work? Well, have you considered the satisfaction you would get knowing that you're helping your child grow to be a bright, intelligent person? It's true. Reading to your children just 20 minutes a day can help them develop skills that will last a lifetime. So next time you open a book, open it with your child. This Year of the Young Child Message is brought to you by these sponsors. Closed captioning is brought to you by Charles Barker Lexus.